All right, we're here at Indian Lake today. We've got uh, about two, two and a half inches, but you can see right here at shore, it was real loose, it broke up on us. But uh, we just wanted to show you how to safely get on ice. Hopefully we won't fall through, but we've got our uh, flotation device wrapped with a rope. And uh, Chris is gonna walk behind me and tow the gear. I've got the spud bar here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the ice twice with the spud bar out in front of us. And if it doesn't go through, then you're pretty safe. And Chris is gonna follow behind me. You wanna put the pack in there? Or are you gonna? Oh, that's good. So, so as long as you hit it, that didn't sound all that great. Somebody's already gone through here, but that doesn't mean. What? Wait a minute. Don't go through. Perfect example. First time. Look at that, folks. You see that? First time through, spud bar went completely through. So this is not good. Luckily. Going out or? I'm not coming. I'm not coming back that way. Huh? Wow. And that's spud bar. Oh, we got a good lesson for safety right here. So I'm going to slowly go out, make my way that way. You might have to go up on the road and come around to there. Hey Chris. Hey Chris. What? This ice isn't good. Second hit and I'm going through. Just less than two inches. This ain't good. Hello. How are you guys doing? Horrible. No fish? No. What is it? Uh, I broke right through right there one hit with the spud bar. Yeah. It's twice. Yeah, it's a little thin, but I mean, it's not terrible. If it's a little thin until you get out past that bend and then you're looking three. But no, just small fish. Yeah. I don't even know if it's worth. They said they're fish at Mountainwood. It's hard to believe. The mouth of Mountainwood. Did you hear anything about them? Because that usually takes a little longer to freeze up. Yeah, it does. What is that? It's a hat cam. Oh, I'm recording you guys <laughs> for our ice fishing. I'll turn it off. That is called the hat cam.